250 Gemstones Culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I am your host, Michael T. Porter, and I'm bringing the news to your ass like no other. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I have another bomb news segment for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit the like button, that subscribe button, and share button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. Also, if you would like to support your boy, support the movement, support the mission, cash app, dollar sign, Michael U. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need all that money, 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 money. We have an ex-Florida uh, deputy sheriff who killed his wife, who was also a deputy. That's right. Police on police crime. Let's dive into the story. His drum roll. This is according to lawandcrime.com. Former Florida Sheriff's deputy allegedly killed his estranged wife, who also worked as a sheriff's deputy, staged her murder as a suicide, then went to Publix with their children. This is a scum right here. These are the people that tried to preach to us about righteousness, try to preach to us about moral and ethics. And his job is to uphold the very morals and ethics of society and he he did everything but do what he called us to do you understand what i'm saying the hypocrisy of these damn people in these damn uniforms a lot of these men walking around here with these badges they complete trash trash let's dive into the story anthony shea and this is his wife ellie shea mm, 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 the florida sheriff's deputy a mother of two is dead and a newly former Sheriff's deputy, her estranged husband, is behind bars. Oh, they got his ass. Anthony John Shea, 49, stands accused of one count of murder in the first degree with a firearm for the Monday for the Monday shooting death of his wife. Orange County Sheriff's Office, La Lieutenant. Oh, she's Spanish. Hold on. Elo Alita? Elo Elda? Elo Elder, I never heard of that name before. Ellie, who's 39. So he's 10 years older than his wife. Anthony Shea, and this is Ellie Shea, 39. Okay. Until this year, the couple worked for the same agency. They worked for the same agency. Wow. The alleged killer resigned as a sergeant in August after nearly 18 years on the job amid an internal investigation that could have resulted in his firing, according to the press release issued by the sheriff's office. So he'd been scum and he's been allowing him to work for 18 years. On Monday afternoon, Anthony Shea made the 911 call according to an arrest affidavit obtained by Orlando Bay CBS affiliate WKMG. When detectives arrived, the husband allegedly said he found his wife on their bed in a pool of blood, a gun resting on her chest. And the defendant had a familiar story to tell. The reason for his departure was an intimate relationship while on the job, according to the sheriff's office. This affair also apparently served to fray his marriage. Anthony Shea allegedly told investigators that Ellie Shea had grown increasingly despondent and depressed since the revelation and the con concomitant investigation, using all these big-ass words. Just tell us what's going on. The husband also admitted to fighting with his wife about the affair all the time. So this man is an adulterer and he's a murderer. And then he tried to lock black men up. We had a bad night last night arguing about my affair. Anthony Shea allegedly told the detectives. On the day of the slaying, the defendant went to public's grocery store with their children. Meanwhile, the victim purportedly called in sick to work. Back at home, the defendant described fighting, I'm sorry, described finding his wife with a long wound to her temple. He said he performed CPR until medical crews arrived. The grim find in the bedroom, Anthony Shea allegedly suggested, appeared to be a suicide. Investigators, however, soon came to think otherwise. A combination of cellular phone records and body-worn camera footage 
which is said to have contained an accidental audio recording, led detectives to believe the victim had been murdered. The defendant allegedly used his wife's phone to send messages to his own phone, delayed calling 911 after the shooting and misled deputies at the scene of the crime. And he's a manipulator. Ellie cared deeply about this agency and the work we do, and I consider her a rising star, Orange County Sheriff John Mina said in a statement. We all have, we have all struggled this week with feelings of shock, grief, and guilt while we tried to make sense of Ellie's death, which was meant to appear as a suicide. I don't want, I want to thank our homicide detectives who had the extraordinary extraordinarily difficult job of investigating a colleague's murder for their diligence and ensuring justice for Ellie. Let me see. That's it. Towards the end of the article, ain't too much going on. So that's pretty much the gist of it. This man's a piece of crap, right? Would y'all like my opinion? (laughs) Would y'all like some of this 250 gemstones news TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Beautiful woman. And this man's a piece of crap. Let me tell you why this man's a piece of crap. Alluding to what I said earlier. These are the very people that lock up black folk every day. They lock up everybody every day. This man is an adulterer. He cheats on his wife. Probably beat on it too. If he if he will kill his wife, there's nothing that would change my mind that he would, that he has beat on this woman before. You don't just go from you know, not hitting your wife and being angry at your wife to straight up murder. It's, it's levels to that, usually. This man beat on his wife, killed his wife, framed it as a suicide, cheated on his wife. This woman married a demon. And not only is a demon, he's a hypocrite. He's a fraud. His job is to stop domestic violence. His job is to arrest people who participate in domestic violence. And here he is participating in domestic violence. This is the worst piece of crap I've ever seen. And there's a whole bunch of them. So I don't get fooled by the uniforms. I don't get fooled by all the guns. I do get fooled by the guns, you know. You know, they pull that thing out. They have a license to kill. These are the type of demons. These are the type of entities that have a license to take our lives. This man's the worst piece of crap. And he's a manipulator. Knocked off his own wife, cheated on her, and then framed the homicide as a suicide. And they want us. And they come down hard on us, trying to give us football numbers for trying to survive, for trying to sell a little bit of marijuana, for trying to sell. Even if you're selling um, products and they find out, let's say you are into selling hair weaves or selling aftermarket uh, designer bags. Let's say you made $100,000, Right. But you didn't report your earnings. They trying to stop your hustle. You can go to jail for that or get a fine because you didn't report to the IRS that you're making all this. See what I'm saying? They want us to follow the law and the very people that they put in place to ensure, to enforce the law, they not even following the damn law. A lot of them are drunks. A lot of them on drugs. You got a person on drugs. You got a person. You don't know if these people believe in God. You have people who are corrupt, don't believe in God, drink, beat on their wives, and these people have the license to kill us, lock us up, take away our freedom, all in the name of justice. This is the worst of the worst. He's 49. uh, Yeah, they're going to brutalize him up in there. This is a weak Man, there's many weak men behind them badges, in my personal opinion. There's a many weak men behind these badges. There's a lot of weak men in the Senate. There's a lot of weak men in the government seats, in the governor's seats. There's a lot of weak men in the mayor's seats, men and women, but mainly the men. There's a lot of weak men in the military. There's a lot of weak men just everywhere. The nerve of you try to lock somebody up and you ain't even following the damn law. Y'all flood my comments. What y'all think about this story? A deputy officer killing his wife, who's also a deputy officer. 250 capital G. I'm gone.